Hey, I'm Ben Shapiro with Reality Check. A couple of weeks ago, HBO's Bill Maher got into it with the Islamic expert and horrifyingly mediocre actor who should never, ever, 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 ever play Batman Ben Affleck over whether Islam was indeed a violent religion. Here's the exchange. And you're painting a br Wait, like the whole group religion with no, that No, no, let, let's get down to who has the right answer here. A billion people, you say. All these billion people don't hold any of billion these... five or something. Don't like hold these pernicious beliefs? No, I wouldn't. No, well, no, they don't. Of course, he's not alone in taking the PC position that Muslims the world over are tolerant and liberal. He's joined by our president, Barack Obama. Islam teaches peace. Muslims the world over aspire to live with dignity and a sense of justice. Wow, it's just like John Lennon's Imagine. Now, the question isn't whether Islam itself is violent. It's what its adherents believe, because that's what they act upon. There's plenty of violent material in the Old and New Testaments. Hey, I'm an Orthodox Jew. I read the Old Testament a lot. But believers in those particular texts are not currently ramming airliners into towers or beheading journalists or mutilating female genitalia. So, let's examine the question. Is radicalism in the Muslim world a tiny minority phenomenon? So to answer that question, we need to define our terms. We're, we're really not talking about people who are active terrorists. Radical beliefs are a lot broader than terrorists, and anybody who argues otherwise is being naive or foolish or disingenuous. But terrorists draw their moral, financial, and religious support from those who are not terrorists themselves. So, who are the radicals? Ben Affleck actually was right on this. There are approximately 1.6 billion Muslims on the planet, and they're from 49 different countries in terms of where they have a majority. All the population stats, by the way, are from Pew Research as of 2011. Indonesia is the world's most populous Muslim country. It's got almost 205 million Muslims living there. According to one 2009 poll, it showed almost 50% of Indonesians actually support strict Sharia law, not just in Indonesia, but in a lot of countries, and 70% blamed the United States, Israel, or somebody else for 9-11. So, you make that calculation, it's about 143 million people who are radicalized. You scared yet? You know, we're just getting started. Okay, Egypt, 80 million Muslims. According to that same 2009 poll, it showed that 65% want strict Sharia law in every Islamic country, and almost 70% said that they had positive or mixed feelings about bin Laden. So that's 55.2 million more radicals. Pakistan has almost 179 million Muslims. 76%, just over three quarters, want strict Sharia law in all Islamic countries. That is another 135.4 million radicals. Bangladesh, not a country you tend to think of as Muslim, but there are 149 million Muslims living there. As of 2013, just over a quarter said suicide bombings or targeting of civilians was sometimes justified. Another 82% want Sharia to be the official law of the country, and two-thirds said honor killings of women can sometimes be justified. Honor killings, two-thirds, it's 121.9 million radicals. Nigeria, 75.7 million Muslims live there. 71% favor Sharia law, that's 53.7 million people. Iran, 74.8 million Muslims, 83% favor implementation of Sharia law as of last year. So that's 62.1 million more radicals. Turkey has 74.7 million Muslims. And 32%, this is a moderate Muslim country, probably the most moderate Muslim country, 32% said honor killings of women could actually be justified sometimes. So that's 23.9 million radical Muslims in our moderate ally, Turkey. Morocco, 32.4 million Muslims live there. Just over three quarters support Sharia law, that's 24.6 million radical Muslims in Morocco. Iraq, 31.1 million Muslims live there. 78% say honor killings of women can sometimes be justified. That amounts to 24.3 million Muslim radicals. Afghanistan, 24 million people. A huge majority, 76%, support at least occasionally, or just once in a while, honor killings of women. 99% actually want Sharia to be the law of the land, so it's like a Cuban election over there. 24 million radical Muslims over in Afghanistan. Jordan, smaller Muslim country, 6.4 million Muslims. Right now, Hamas is enjoying like a 60% approval rating. So 3.8 million radical Muslims in Jordan, which is, again, a moderate country. Palestinian areas, right? We're sending literally hundreds of millions of dollars to the Palestinian areas. We are, the American taxpayers. 4.3 million Muslims live in the Palestinian areas. 78% of those had positive or mixed feelings about bin Laden. 89% support terror attacks on our ally, Israel. 89% support Sharia law. We should give them a state, folks. That's 3.83 million radical Muslims. How about in the West? Okay, let's take it to France. France, 4.7 million Muslims live there. A 2007 poll showed 35% of French Muslims said suicide bombings could sometimes be justified. It's 1.6 million radical Muslims living in France. Great Britain, 2.8 million Muslims living there. 78% wanted cartoonists of Muhammad legally prosecuted. 
So we're talking about 2.2 million radical Muslims in Great Britain. How about here in the United States? Well, we have a very moderate Muslim population. We do. 2.6 million Muslims live here, according to Pew Research. 13% said violence against civilians can be justified. 19% said they were either favorable toward Al-Qaeda or just didn't know. You know, because who knows, really? That's almost 500,000 radical Muslims here in the United States. Here is the total of the countries that we've gone through just now. 680 million, 30,000. 680 million, 30,000 radical Muslims. And that's out of a total population in those countries of 942.4 million Muslims total. And it seems fair to assume that similar proportions of people in countries like, say, like Algeria, Syria, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Tunisia, Somalia, and Libya are also radicalized. And if they are, then, well, we're above 800 million Muslims who are radicalized. More than half the Muslims on Earth. That's not a minority. That's now a majority. And that's still not even surveying hundreds of millions of Muslims in other countries. In other words, the myth of the tiny radical Muslim minority is just that. It's a myth. And, unfortunately, it's a myth that's going to get a lot of civilized people killed. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to give a quick donation.